I wanted to rebuild the Seattle Supersonics as an expansion team, and while we ended up having a great team drafted in the expansion draft, it came at a cost as we were starting this rebuild $111 million over the salary cap. I simmed through the first half of our inaugural season with this team, and do not ask me how, but somehow we were in first place at 47-4. and four. Without making any moves this season, we would sim to the end of the regular season, where we would clinch the first seed in the West with a 66-16 and 16 record. We would end up defeating the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round, Round, but would end up losing in the second round to the Denver Nuggets who would eventually go on to win the championship in season one. This offseason would be tough as we didn't have a single lottery pick in the draft so we would go out and get one as we would trade CJ McCollum to the Rockets for their seventh overall pick, would trade Jeremiah Grant to the Spurs for their eighth overall pick, and would send Josh Green to Portland for the ninth pick in the draft. With our first pick at number seven we would take shooting guard Patrick Posey, at pick eight center Ruben Brooks, and at pick nine power forward Irvin green, all three of whom would be higher than 75 overall headed into their rookie season this year. Still being over the salary cap though meant we couldn't make any offers in free agency this offseason, and headed into season two, Irvin Green would be our only starting rookie, with Reuben Brooks coming off the bench as our sixth man, and Patrick Posey as our number nine in the rotation for year number two. We weren't planning on making any moves during the regular season still, so we would sim to the halfway point of year two, and this was a bit more realistic as we were sitting at 26 and 28. Irvin Green was currently the second best ranked rookie in the league with Ruben Brooks at 14 and Patrick Posey at 16. We would finish simulating the rest of season number two as Irvin Green would make all NBA rookie first team and Ruben Brooks and Patrick Posey would get named to all NBA rookie second team. Our team managed to squeeze into the play-in tournament but would lose to the San Antonio Spurs as Denver would once again win the championship for a second year in a row. LeBron James was finally calling it quits this offseason and we had the 14th pick headed into season two's draft where we would take power forward Lou Bradley who would end up being a 78 overall in his first season. Headed into season number three, we were still $139 million over the salary cap, so once again, we would not make any moves in free agency this year. Our three rookies all progressed nicely this offseason as they were all above 80 overall now, and our pick in this year's draft, Lou Bradley, would be coming off the bench for us in the number seven spot in the rotation. We started simming season three, hoping our team might be improved this year, but halfway through, we were only 18 and 36, which wasn't any better. Thinking maybe we could pick up some steam in the second half, I simmed to the end of season three, where we would finish 30 and 52. While our rookie Lou Bradley did make all NBA rookie second team, we would miss the playoffs for the first time this rebuild as the Thunder would win the championship. To make up for that though, we had a chance at getting the fourth pick in this year's draft, which would turn out to be the third overall pick for us, and we would use that to select shooting guard Johnny James from Memphis, who would turn out to be one of the best rated prospects in the entire draft class. Headed into free agency, we would re-sign the three players we drafted in our first draft class this rebuild, and after renouncing the rights to both Bradley Beal and Zach Levine, that cleared up enough space for us to make some moves in a stacked free agency class. We would first go after Luka Doncic in free agency, but after we couldn't get him, we would go after Dirk Meyer, who somehow went undrafted from Germany this year and was an 89 overall. We would offer him the biggest contract we could give him, and he would officially sign to the squad. We needed some depth now off the bench, so we would go after Chris Middleton, who would also end up signing with the team. Off-season progression somehow saw Dirk Meyer go up to a 90 overall for us now, and this team was looking stacked with young talent headed into season 4. I thought this team had a chance to compete for a title in year 4, as at the all-star break we were in second place at 36 and 21, with our rookie Dirk Meyer playing out of his mind so far for us. We would sim to the end of season number 4, where we would finish 49 and 33, staying in second place in the west, and Dirk Meyer would bring home the rookie of the year award. We would defeat the Trailblazers in 6 in our first round matchup, but would fall in 5 to the Memphis Grizzlies in the second round, while the Toronto Toronto Raptors would end up taking home the title this year. We would jump straight to the draft where we would take shooting guard Ralph Thomas who would be a good depth player for us off the bench this season. The entire young core this team had been built around would all be brought back for one more season but all we were missing at this point was a solid starting point guard so we would offer Nick Smith Jr. a contract in free agency this offseason and he would happily accept the three year deal we offered him. This young team looked even better headed into season 5 after their offseason progression but with many expiring contracts that we wouldn't be able to afford next offseason, this was our last shot at winning a title with this core. With no moves needed to be made, we would sim to the all-star break in season 5, where we were once again in second place in the west, sitting at 36 and 20, while Dirk Meyer was continuing to be one of the best players in the entire league. We would sim ahead to the end of the regular season after the all-star break, and for the second year in a row, we would finish in second place in the west with a 57 and 25 record, as Dirk Meyer would be named to the all-NBA second team in just his second year in the league. We would easily 
easily sweep the 7th seeded Lakers in the first round of the playoffs and would take down the Mavericks in 6 games the following round. Taking on OKC in the Western Conference Finals, we would go up 3 games to 1 over them and would get the narrow 1 point win in Game 5 to clinch ourselves a spot in the NBA Finals where we would be taking on last year's champion the Toronto Raptors. We would take Game 1 at home with a decisive victory and would follow it up with a closer 1 point victory in Game 2. We would head on the road and get a win in Toronto to go up 3 to nothing, as we would now have a chance to sweep the Raptors in the finals, but it would be a tough one as game 4 was looking like it would be down to the wire. We would have only a 6 point lead with under 2 minutes to go here in the 4th quarter, as Patrick Posey was once again looking to extend that lead for us as this shot was off the mark, but Ruben Brooks would put it back up and in, as it would be an 8 point game, but TJ Barrett and the Raptors were not going away. Chris Middleton would make a stupid decision here as that would result in a turnover and Toronto would turn it into a 3 pointer for them, as it was only a 3 point lead for us now, and Chris Middleton was going to the free throw line for us, as he would knock down the first one, but would miss the second one. This left the door wide open for Toronto as they would knock this shot down, and it was only a 2 point game for us. It was time to see if our free agency signing would pay off, as Nick Smith would go to the line and knock both of his free throws down, as there were only 17 seconds left, but Toronto would knock down this 3, and it was now only a 1 point lead. Nick Smith Jr. would go back to the line for us, and he would knock down both free throws. But Toronto still had a chance to tie this game up as that shot was off the mark and we would get the rebound as Nick Smith Jr. would only have to sink these free throws. And after knocking both of them down for us, there was not enough time for Toronto to complete this comeback against us as we had officially completed the sweep and we had turned the Seattle Supersonics into an NBA champion here in Season 5.